Hi, I'm John Jones, and this week I'm going to show you how to tie the German rig using components from the Sigde end tackle range. So let's switch over to the overhead camera back in the studio and have a look at this rig in more detail. Right, the tools needed for this job is a sharp pair of scissors, a puller tool, two baiting needles, a stripper tool, and a lighter. So today I'm gonna to make the rig out of uh, some Signet soft coated hook link. This is in 25 pound. It's mega supple this is. Uh, peel off at least a foot and cut with a super sharp pair of scissors. So you've cut off a one foot length. Now with a stripper tool, strip at least two and a half inches of the coated material back, exposing the supple inner braid. Now the hooks, I'm using the Signet Curve Shank size 8. This is barbless. They are mega, mega sharp, so be careful when tying these rigs. Now thread the braid through the hook from the inside to the out. And now I'm gonna turn, uh, I'm now gonna tie a four turn knotless knot. Pass your hook link again through the top of the eye this time on the way out. Pull and there you have it. Full turn, knotless knot. Now trim off the tag end again with a super, super sharp pair of scissors. There's your knot. Now I need a kicker. These are the Signet hook riggers, medium. What you need to do now is thread your hook link from the swivel end through the larger bore size hole of the kicker. Thread it all the way up the line and secure over the eye of the hook and over the knot. That creates a kicker. Now you need a hook bead. You'll need two of these to make this rig. Firstly, put the, the ho first hook bead on, the, the tapered end first. Slide that all the way around until it fits neatly inside the hook rigger. This just neatens the rig up. It's something that I've been doing just recently and to me it just makes that rig just that little bit neater. Now to secure a bait, this time I'm using a bait screw. Now you can use a small um, ringed swivel, micro ring swivel or a ring, but I like a bait screw. Now get the second um, hook bead and thread that on from the fat end first. Thread that up around the hook and position in place. I like to position it just beyond where the barb would finish. And there you go, almost complete. So your next step is to put on a sinker. These are the new Signet Hooklink Clingers in medium. They're tungsten, so they'll help you any hook link sink. So thread this on from the swivel end and carefully tease the sinker onto the hook link. Slide it all the way up, and I like to finish with it sitting over the top of where the braid and the coated material join together. Now this rig to me is about eight inches long so at the swivel end, I will now tie a, a figure of eight loop. And then I'll pull it tight. You can either use the puller tools, but in this case, I'm just using the baiting needle here to pull that knot tight. Again, trim off with a super pair of scissors. 
almost done. Now, an anti-tangle sleeve. If you get one of these, it's the small version. As you can see, it's tapered with a, a fatter end at one end. With the splicing needle now, go in that fatter end and hook up the loop of your hook link. Tease it all down now until the anti-tangle sleeve exposes the loop. And now you need to grab yourself a quick chain swivel size eight. This, as you can see, has a loop at one end, a swivel at one end, and a quick change loop at the other. Now hook them both together and slide over the anti-tangle sleeve. This just enables you to uh, replace the hook link uh, with these. Now I like to use um, critically balanced baits with these. These are mainline um, wafters. And with a bait screw, just simply push into place, screw it up so it's nice and tight. And there you go. there you go folks there's the finished rig so if you like this video hit the like button subscribe hit the notifications and of course before you go it's up to you to ensure your rigs are safe so i'll see you next time